My name's Troy Hawes, and welcome once again to a very special Christmas edition of My Acoustic Lounge. Today we're going to review probably one of the most popular Christmas songs of all time, Blue Christmas. It was written by Billy Hayes and another gentleman named J.W. Johnson. Now, Blue Christmas has been covered by countless artists over the decades and it's certainly a must-have in your guitar repertoire of Christmas songs. Before we get started though, be sure to click the subscribe button as I'm always trying to put up new content on a regular basis. In addition, if you like my guitar tutorials and covers, you might actually also like my original music, which can now be purchased or streamed from any one of your favorite online music providers. Simply look up Troy Hawes and you'll find my music there. Now what we're going to do first is we're going to look at the chords that you're going to need to know. Then we're going to perform an acoustic lounge version of Blue Christmas. Afterwards we'll go in depth and have a closer look at the chord progression. So if you want to learn one of the most popular Christmas songs of all time, stick around. We're going to get started right now. Okay, in order to get all the way through the acoustic lounge version of Blue Christmas, you're going to need to know four chords. Let's have a look at them now. The first one is an F major 7. I also use a C chord. Now, there are two bar chords that you're going to need to know. The first one is a G minor bar chord. And then finally, the last one is one called a B flat, and it's way up here on the sixth fret. Now, you could technically, just so you know, if you don't want to go all the way up there and play a bar chord, you could technically play a B as well. Uh, whatever you want to do. I use the, uh, the B flat uh, way up on the sixth fret. With that, let's get to the cover.
Okay, let's now get to the chord progressions of this great Christmas song. We're going to break this into three parts. We're going to show you in its entirety the first verse and then the second verse. Uh, they are very, very similar, although there is one slight change, and we'll point that out at the time. And then we're going to finish things off with a look at that intro and also what could be considered the bridge. It's just a little bit of guitar picking, individual notes, arpeggio style picking, whatever you want to call it. We'll show you that to finish things off with. With that, let's get to the first verse. The song starts on the F major chord and goes something like this. I'll have a blue Christmas without you I'll be so blue just thinking about you decorations of red on a green Christmas tree same dear if you're not here with me and that's it let's jump now to the second verse okay the second verse is almost identical to the first with one small exception and we're going to show you that in just a second like the first verse the uh, second verse starts on the F major 7 and goes something like this. And when those blue snowflakes start falling, that's when those blue memories start calling. You'll be doing alright with your Christmas song. Now, unlike the first verse where you'll go back to the, uh, uh, the G minor chord and then to the C, the second verse goes from the B flat just right back down to the C chord. Okay? Let me show you. We'll start again from the beginning. Again, from the F major 7 chord, something like this. And when those blue Snowflakes start falling. That's when those blue memories start calling. You'll be doing all right with your Christmas song. That's it. That's the only difference between the first verse and the second verse. With that, let's jump into that intro and what could be considered uh, the bridge to the song. Okay, the intro and the bridge are played the same and they encompass the F major 7 chord and the C chord with some slight variations. With that, let's have a closer look. I want you to start with making the finger pattern of an F major 7 chord. Then I want you to individually pick string number uh, 5, string number 4. Now here, just for the intro and this bridge, lift off your um, middle finger so the open third string, the G string, is open. So again, five, four, three, and then I want you to strum the F major seven chord. So put your finger back uh, in, in place where it needs to be, your middle finger, to strum the F major seven chord. I'll slow it down. Here we go. simple. From there, 
you're going to go to the C chord. Then you're going to pick five, four, the open three string is, is already open for the uh, C chord. And here's the slight variation. With your small pinky finger, place it on the third fret of the third string when you strum the chord. Okay, let me slow that down. It's five, four, three, pinky finger on the third fret, third string, and then back to the F major seven chord. I'll have a blue, and that's really how that works. Let's slow it down here to show you. Again, here we go. To the C. And then the F major 7. And then that takes you, of course, into the song. <laughs> there you have I know, I know you'll be able to get it down with a little bit of practice and there's not, uh, uh, there's not going to be any issues for you to get it done before Christmas Day uh, so you can celebrate and play this song along with family and friends. With that, thank you for tuning in to another edition of My Acoustic Lounge. I want to wish you uh, a, a very, very, very safe and happy holiday season. Uh, thank you for tuning in this year uh, to all of my guitar tutorials and covers. Uh, your comments have been uh, fantastic. Uh, I appreciate all feedback. Until the next time, keep playing. Music is good for the soul.